Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you the IATA Gas Camp Stove Burner. And that's this little guy right here. But instead of a boring stove review, let's make some breakfast. Alright everybody, welcome back. After shooting that intro about four times, because I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Glad to have you guys here today. I want to show you this new stove that I picked up. Again, this is one of those things that's for a project in the future. Uh, I'm going to need some camp gear, some emergency gear for my project. And this is going to be one of those things that goes inside of that. Um, this is a little portable three-stand stove. It's a little bit bigger than, say, your average little tiny uh, mini stove. It is completely made of stainless steel and aluminum, or aluminum alloy, I should say. And they run about 20 bucks. Now, these are, they had a previous version of this that didn't have the windscreen. The windscreen's been added to this, and that's kind of handy because where I am, it's windy for like six months out of the year. And it's that annoying wind. It's not super windy, it's just enough like 10 miles an hour to keep blowing stuff out or making things go crazy. So they added a little bit of a windbreak around it with some holes in it. And I find that for some reason it seems to be a lot more powerful than I remembered with my previous Luxata stove that was similar to this. This works the same way. It can fit small or big pots. You can put the legs down and cook like this, but I would suggest pulling them out and putting them down like that. And you just pull them down. They're fairly simple, even though I can't get my finger in there. I love it when I say, oh, look how easy this is, and it doesn't come for me. <laughs> All right, there you go. So you got a little soft piezo igniter here. So I'll be able to start your fire. I, I, I like these, but in a way I don't, because I always carry a lighter, matches something, a ferrule rod. Um, the only, my only problem with them is they tend to die. And then they're kind of just like dead weight on the side of your thing. However, they can be taken off if they don't work anymore. So that's not the end of the world. It does have a nice, uh, nice long uh, cable here. I believe this cable is 15 inches long, this hose, away from it. And I like that too because I don't like the fact that it's always so close. You know, it feels like it's right here where there's fire. And even though I know nothing's going to happen, it's still kind of a safety feature for me. That's a nice wide stance there. Um, I'm sure you can fit a smaller kind of cook pot on there. You can fit a nice big cook pot on top too. Um, definitely a big enough stove, but not so big that I have to carry a huge pan with me. So I like it. It's perfect size for camp cookware, things like that. Weighs about 9.7 ounces. Now when you expand this, this is 6 inches by 3.6 inches. The storage size, when you break it down, is 3.5 by 3.5 by 3.8. In this box, in other words. And yes, it does fit in this box. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to keep this for the project that I'm doing. I may put this in something else. But you see what it looks like. So it's nice, light, compact, can be folded up for storage. Um, you got aluminum alloy and stainless steel, so I don't have to worry about rust. It runs on isobutane uh, or, and propane mix, or the butane propane mix. Typical little camp, camp bottle, so that'll work for the, my project too. And it says it can boil one liter of water in just two minutes. It's a 3,500 watt stove. Now what I'm going to do today, because stove reviews can be boring as all well, get out, <laughs> sometimes, is I'm going to make some breakfast. I had the breakfast skillet and the biscuits and gravy here. I'm just going to make this big, huge breakfast out of this stuff. And I believe both of these take about two cups of water. Let's find out here. One and one half. And one and one fourth. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to boil uh, the one and one half first. And I'll just time it loosely. I'm not looking for some kind of land speed record for this. I just wanted something that was a little bit more stable. Um, something that I could set up on rocks, on dirt, on an uneven surface. And make it even. And this is definitely going to fit that bill. So let me get it set up, fired up, and we'll start boiling our All right, water. I've got the one and a half cups of water measured out here. Got my timer over here. But before we begin, I wanted to show you something. Um, this fits everything. This is our Stanley Cook set, the infamous Stanley Cook set. <laughs> this is a big pot, you know, the camping type pot. And over here, I have a titanium pan. Nice and easy, big big surface, but it will support the smaller surfaces, and that's what's cool. Now, as far as the thing that I'm probably going to add with this to be in the package of my future project, it's going to be this guy right here. I love this little thing. I don't know why. It was a cheap little stainless steel pot, but it's just perfect. It just sits there. It's tiny. I might, I don't know, we'll try it at the end. I might even be able to fit this in here. So, there you go. You check them out. Pretty simple design, not much to them. So let's put the, uh, the water in there. There's one and a half cup, 
and let me fire up the stove. Did forget to put a gas can on that. Now I've only run this stove once before, and it was just like a blowtorch. Really cool. That's one of the reasons I like it, because you know, with what I'm doing, basically I, I can kind of let the cat out of the bag here. It's going to be another form of transportation, and this is going to be my cook set for it. <laughs> so what I could do here with this is um, carry it around. It's fast enough to boil water, and all I'm going to be doing with this probably is just boiling water. So that's kind of why I like it. Now let me uh, get around to this side so I can make sure I'm on that when I start the gas. There we go. Slide it back around. Put it on there. Not fully up yet. We'll start our timer. Turn it up. A little more. And there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this timer. I'm going to bring you back when we got a boil. I'm going to cook that. And then we're going to try the one and a quarter. We don't have to time the second one, of course, because it's obviously going to be faster. And uh, we'll have a nice breakfast out here. Check that out. One minute and 47 seconds. That's insane. Let me turn that off. Open this up. Make sure I get that thing out there. And pour it in. That was insane. Well, it was a little warm. Let's use a... Just be safe and use that. And pour this in. Probably should do this this way. Since I'm right-handed, it makes sense. Somebody once told me to do my videos on the other side. The other side of my camera. And it's like, eh, I'm just comfortable doing them this way. Even though it seems weird. So there's the biscuits and gravy. We're going to mix that up. Let me get my stir. I did go a tiny little bit under the recommended water. Like just under the line. Because I know Mountain House entrees tend to be a little um, heavy on the water recommendations. So we're going to do that. But that is crazy. And I mean, I kind of stopped it. It probably could have gone a minute 40. We probably could have even trimmed off that 7 seconds because I had to start the camera once it was already boiling. That thing is fast. I like that. That's awesome for when you're hungry. You don't want to wait around. So I'm going to just fire up the other one and bring you back when everything's done. And we'll try out these because these are the new, uh, the new packaging. I believe it's the same food. But these are the new packaging. So we'll try these out while we're doing the stove review too. And I'll give you some final information on the uh, the stove when I'm done cooking the other entree. All right, they definitely should be done. I gave them a little bit too long. <laughs> Went inside, ended up staying inside a little bit out of my garage. And I was like, okay, these should definitely be finished now. So let me get the stove out of the way here. Yeah, that's even cold now. <laughs> that's okay. I went in, I had fun. And back out we are here. So first thing I'm going to try out is the biscuits and gravy. It came out awesome. Yep. Came out perfect. Let's put a little on the plate. There's still a ton in there. You know, it's funny. These bags always look smaller to me. But they seem to hold either the same amount or more food than the previous ones. There's a ton of food left in here. Yep. That's definitely a breakfast for two people. My goodness. There you go. Mmm. Definitely good. So, before I bore you with me eating all that, that's the stove. <laughs> that is the AYADA, AIDA, I believe, Gab, Gas Camp Stove Burner. They're 19 bucks. I will put one below. I'll put a link to my store with one down below where you can check them out. Um, I just think it's perfect. I mean, especially if you're a backpacker that just carries freeze-dried stuff or... If you're the type of person that, you know, all you're carrying in your bug-out bag gear or your emergency gear revolves around freeze-dried food, you saw how quick that boils water. That was just insane. And, yeah, it was a cup and a half. It wasn't two cups, but still a minute and 47 seconds? It's pretty darn good. I'll give it, I'll say a good two minutes for two cups of water if it had to. So that's not bad at all. Definitely a powerful little burner. 20 bucks, not bad, you know. Definitely a good deal. Check them out. I will put a link down below to, to one of these in my store. Um, check out my store, by the way, in my Amazon store down below. If there's anything in there that you like, I try to put everything I review in the store so you can check it. If not, just click the link and shop as you normally would. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below. Um, there's nothing to join if you don't want to. You can go there and just buy the products and put them away for storage. Really good food, 
really quality food, not a ton of junk. The ingredients are right on the label, and it's like, like with the beef. It's like beef, salt, water. That's it, <laughs> okay? So check them out, too, and I thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.